Greetings everyone, I'm coming to you today from Universal Studios Hollywood and I'm going to show off the parking structures here just a little bit because I made that one about the one in Disneyland and I thought maybe I should, you know, show some love to Universal as well just in case you're coming here and you're like, how the heck do I use the parking? What's the drop off situation like if I'm going to use ride share? all that stuff. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comments, but I'm gonna to try to cover as much as possible. Let's get to it. And here I'm turning onto WC Fields Drive, heading towards the parking ramps. Yes, probably going to be an ET today, but I wanted to show you this so if you're coming off the highway, you could see exactly what was going on. Yeah, mm hmm. Makes it pretty easy to get over here to the parking and to City Walk, which I really do appreciate. Yep, pretty seamless. Mm hmm. Now I'm coming midday, so it's not super crazy, and I've also come a lot of times in the beginning of the day, like rope drop. So it's usually not bad as far as parking is concerned. As you can see, there's a lot of turn lanes over here to get up into City Walk and eventually to Universal Studios Hollywood. Mm hmm Yeah, baby, there we go. Uh, I've never stayed at any of the hotels here. I don't know if anybody here is watching this, but if you have stayed at one of the hotels, let me know. I'd be so curious to hear about it. As you can see, the large parking structure. There's the uh, pickup spot over there for Uber or whatever else if you decide or drop off. Here we go. We're going in. All right. Mm -hmm. As you can see, they have a ton of different spots to enter potentially, but on slower days, they only have one or two open, as you can see. We'll wave hi. Thank you. All right. And here we go, sneaking on up and into Universal Studios Hollywood. At the time of this recording, there are a few different options for as far as parking is concerned. General is sitting at $30. Preferred parking, which is closer, is at $45. And then there is finally the front gate parking, which is at $60. If you do purchase a Platinum Pass, right now that is the one that has parking included. So that for me, thankfully, is one of the costs I don't have to worry about. But if you are coming here, I just wanted to let you know. But then we're gonna get past this portion and I'm gonna show you where we are in the actual parking ramp and how to get out actually into Universal Studios. So I was wrong today because it is a slower day. It looks like it is actually going to be Jurassic parking for us today, baby. Oh my goodness, yeah. Oh, this is like one of the closest ones too, which is really, really nice. So I appreciate that because I've been parking an ET a ton lately. And uh, you know, it's just nice uh, not having to walk as far. See, oh, Jurassic parking, baby. Love it. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh. Can you tell? Can you tell I'm excited? Oh boy. As you can now see, I am in Jurassic Parking 4L, and oh my goodness, look at Rexy. Oh, it's so great. I also love the color coordination. This is like the green area. There's green drips, I've seen blue, I've seen red. Oh, I just really appreciate it, and I just, I love you, Rexy. I love you so much. Oh, you're so fantastic. What a great glamour shot. Now, after you've parked, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna look for signs that say universal. Yeah, they've got a bunch of arrows and signs showing you right where you need to go. So no worries if you're a little bit confused. And basically what I like to tell people to, follow the people, follow the people. Wherever they're going, you'll make it out to City Walk. For Jurassic Parking, you'll actually come out onto these various escalators. I'll show you the ones over at ET as well. Kind of open air escalator situation. Really pretty. I really like it. Yeah. It's funny, sometimes you ever just like look over the side of something and you realize how much of a drop it is and you're like, oh, you guys do that? Is that just me? It can't be just me. If you happen to be on Jurassic Parking level three or higher, one little trick I've found is you can head out here to City Walk. And you're thinking, well, Jimmy, I'm stuck up here. Actually, no, you're not, baby. They have this escalator that is usually running, but of course, as I am talking about it right now, it is not. Oh no. But this is what you'd usually normally use. You can use this to go right on down. Yeah. It's pretty convenient actually. I suppose I could take that way. No, no, no. I'm not going to take that way. But 
you could when this is normally working. And then you basically just head down from the third down to this main area, big screen, movie theater, and all that stuff right out in front of you. I may have neglected to mention this earlier, but they do have elevators here as well. So if you need an elevator, they've got you covered. I'm backtracking a little bit from the park to show you one of the structures or some of the other parking structures. This is where we actually came in in the beginning, if you guys remember. And I want to show you this is the kind of Uber or the rideshare pickup drop off area right below me. But as I was showing you, this is Jurassic parking right over here. But now, what if you're over? in ET parking. I'm gonna show you how that works. I also wanted to mention the Curious George parking. It's right next to ET, so I'm gonna be kind of talking about them in the same way because if you do come out of the Curious George parking lot for whatever reason, you're gonna be coming out right over here and you'll basically be walking right down here. ET is gonna be right over there, but then you'll basically be into City Walk, heading straight down towards the park, Universe Studios Hollywood, just down that way. I'm now over in the ET parking ramp, and as you can see right now, nobody here, they're not using this. I think this is more overflow, or if it's really, really busy, they'll start filling this place up. However, if you're on this floor, you don't have to use the escalators, but if you're on one of the many, many floors above this, you'll just use the escalators to come all the way down, 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 and you'll eventually get over here. You'll see ET, he's saying welcome. And you head over here, welcome to Universal. And you basically just use this little walkway and it'll take you right over to City Walk. Easy as that. Lickety split. Does anybody think about how crazy powerful and strong parking structures are? Like how many cars, trucks, vehicles are on these things day in day out and they hold up? It just kind of blows my mind a little bit. I just want to share that with you guys. But yeah, so you just basically walk on down over here and as I said before, there's a lot of escalators here. There's like, was it two, three, four, five, six? There's a lot, there's a lot of levels. I've actually parked on the roof before. It's a really pretty view. But yeah, you just come on down. Not too hard at all. There, that's where we came in originally. They're heading up towards the pickup spot over there or heading over to parking right over there. But you'll head right in here. Bunch of ET, yeah. And then there's the Curious George parking garage right over there. But then you'll head just straight down there and head straight into City Walk, just exiting the ET parking structure. And like I said before, the rideshare drop off is gonna put you right here, right next to Buca de Peppo at the time of this recording. I always have to put that in there, I feel like, just in case something happens and they're like, we're changing everything. Yeah, and there's the Cinnabon. But then you're basically just gonna walk straight this way, bunch of signs everywhere telling you where to go. Tells you where the theme park is, because the theme park is on the opposite end of City Walk, so you have to kind of cut all the way through City Walk to get there. Every time I walk by Voodoo Donuts, I think of my sister Katie. Hi Katie, love you. Um, but yeah, we went here back May of 2020. No, sorry, May of 2021. Pardon me. But yeah, are you any big Voodoo Donut fans out there? Let me know. This poor guy, he's got a pretzel in his chest. One thing I like to tell people if they're coming from the parking structures and they're lost on how to get to Universal Studios Hollywood, all you gotta do is find the big guy. Yep, find Kong and you'll be okay. Just just go to Kong, keep going that way. And again, follow the people. That, that's always my advice, follow the people. Of course that follow the people advice usually works best in a theme park, but in life, listen to me, in life, sometimes it's better to go a different way. The path less trodden, okay? Trust me, it's a good thing. And I believe in your dream. I just appreciate you watching. You being here, you're supporting my dream, believe it or not. Even if you didn't realize it, you are. So thank you so, so much, I appreciate you. Right Kong, hi Kong. I dined here with a buddy recently, Bubba Gump's Shrimp Co. Pretty great, man. I've actually <laughs> gone to a couple used to the one back in Minnesota, and I ate at the one that used to be over in Hawaii a long time ago. It was like over the ocean. That was so cool. I like Bubba Gums a lot, actually. You don't even have to see the movie to appreciate it. This might be my favorite portion of City Walk right here. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at it. I get like pseudo, and I mean this in the best possible way, but Mall of America vibes, because I'm from Minnesota, and I'm used to having my theme park or one of them be inside. And this feels like the closest to being kind of inside, as it were. Yeah, it's really crazy. Now I believe this is where the front gate parking is. 
So if you want that, it's gonna be right over there and it'll actually get you right up over here. I'll double check to make sure because it actually might be a little bit further up. That might just be one of the entrances that you can utilize to get to the theme park. So keep heading down, you see the Universal Studio Store, just in case you're actually not going into the park if you wanted to purchase some merchandise. <laughs> right now we're going by the Universal Studio Store. And if you wanted to purchase some theme park merchandise and weren't planning on going in, this is the place to do it. We just keep heading down here, and there it is. Yes, the globe. So you know you're in the right place now. Up here now near the front gate parking, the Woody Woodpecker parking, as I believe it to be. But they have these spaces, a lot of them reserved, but you can pay, I believe, for some of these spaces over here to get literal front gate parking because right here is the front gate. Yep, that's the security right there. You go through metal detectors and they have those kind of x-ray machines you'd see at the airport. And then the front gate, you just walk right up to it, right over there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So if you really want that VIP experience, this is where you would park. Also, don't talk about it a ton, but they actually have a little tram or a little bus that will take you all the way up over here and drop you off if you are stepping off or getting off near the train station, which is down over in that direction. I have not utilized that because when I did that that one time, I walked all the way up the hill because that's just the person I am. I hope this video provided a little bit of insight to people who are unsure of how the parking works here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I'm still new to it, more or less, but I've done it enough where I feel like I can give you some information. But again, if you have any other specific questions, let me know down in the comments and I will help you out. I appreciate you guys so much being here today. Thank you, thank you so darn much. It means a heck of a lot to me. Either way, until next time, I hope you're having a good day, and if you're not, you just share it. We'll help you through it. Don't you worry. You leave it down in the comments. I'm here to help you. <laughs> and until next time, just remember to adapt and overcome. Bye-bye.